Well, welcome to Antique Appliance Parts. We want to talk to you some today about uh, vintage refrigerator door gaskets. We probably get more calls about gasket material than uh, anything else. So uh, before you call or before you make your selection, we want to go through uh, some things about door gaskets as you uh, look at your refrigerator and determine which one that you need. Um, so go to your refrigerator, open the door, take a look at the gasket, and if you've got a refrigerator made in the 40s or 50s, uh, pretty much the standard shape gasket uh, is that of a lowercase e. Uh, this is off of a 1954 General Electric freezer door and uh, you can see that it's shaped like an e. Uh, you need to look at your gasket and you need to measure how wide the gasket is, how tall the gasket is, and you need to press on it a little bit to determine the pliability, the softness or the firmness of that gasket. Uh, this is a little different variation of the uh, same shape gasket. This is from a Kelvinator made in the late 40s. You can see it's a little more complicated. It has little extended tails on the right and on the left, uh, and it's a much wider gasket. Uh, most of that is to cover up the mounting screws or the mounting brackets underneath that, uh, it, that attach the gasket to the door. Uh, when it's on the door of the refrigerator, if you'll just kind of lift that gasket back underneath, you'll be able to expose how that gasket is mounted to the door. Generally the tail portion of the E slips under the door liner itself and then uh, this is secured by either long metal strips with screws or sometimes just screws that go directly through the gasket through the door liner and attach it to the door. Uh, this is a much uh, more complicated version but still pretty much in an E shape. This was a gasket that Frigidaire used in the late 40s and the early 50s. It has a very long tail piece that covers up their mounting brackets underneath. So once you've looked at your gasket and you've kind of determined the shape, you've determined the size of the gasket, then you can compare it to the gaskets that we have pictured on the website and you can get a better idea of the style that you might need. Uh, now this gasket from the 54 GE would work well uh, with this gasket. As you can see it's about the same width and it's about the same height and it has a very similar pliability but you may find that your gasket originally had a much longer tailpiece and that may be important when you go to remount it on the door of your refrigerator. These gaskets are a little bit wider but they're much much firmer. If you're not sure of how firm of a gasket you might need, part of the way you can make that determination is to measure the gap that you have on your refrigerator and the gap is the space between the refrigerator cabinet and the refrigerator door. That's how much room the gasket itself is going to actually take up. A firmer gasket will fill up a larger gap. A softer, more pliable ga uh, gasket works well in a narrower gap situation. Now, this is, a, uh, this is the new version of the frigid air gasket, again, that they used in the 40s and the early 50s. So if you know you're working with a frigid air uh, from that time period and your gasket looks somewhat like this, uh, then this uh, PA102 is our part number for this this will be your replacement gasket. Again, it has the long extended flap that's necessary for covering up all the mounting screws that you'll find when you raise that up and look at that. Uh, here's another e-version gasket that has an extension. Uh, again, you just look at yours. You can determine whether you're going to need that wider gasket to uh, cover up the mounting screws underneath. Um, and, and that'll help you to determine which one best suits your gasket. If you're working with a monitor top refrigerator made by General Electric from back in the 30s, this is very much a standard gasket. It's shaped like a P and uh, it comes in black. So you can look at that if you have a monitor top from the uh, late 20s, early 30s. This is your most likely choice. Again, it's in just the standard shape of a P. Most of our gasket material is sold by the foot, so you will need to know how many feet of gasket material you need. Therefore, it's important that you open your refrigerator door and you thoroughly measure the perimeter of the door. Measure up one side, across the top, down the other, and across the bottom to get the total number of feet that you will need. If after uh, seeing these tips, you still are unsure which gasket your refrigerator needs, feel free to call our office, speak with one of our representatives, or if you like, you can take pictures of the interior of your door, email those to us. We'll be glad to take a look at it and determine which gasket would best suit your needs. We hope these tips have been a great help to you. Thanks and have a great day.